So we've done these before. This is a Cobra 29, uh, whatever. LXEU. And when I bought one of these and we went through it together, etc, etc. And I didn't think that much to it. It's uh, a lot to it, but uh, I didn't think it was a brilliant performer. Anyway, this one's come in for service. And... The lady who owns it says it's too quiet, yet it was 4 kilohertz, so deviation, so it was kind of transmitting on lots of channels at once, I think. Tango 21, checking. Yep, I receive it. Yeah, Roger. Right, it's coming up to the end of the line. Roger, got you at the end of the line. So I just wanted going through and the receiver has come up quite well. Um, I couldn't even get 20 decibel sign out as it came in. But uh, we can now get uh, 20 decibel sign out giving it for 2.25 microvolts. Our 12 decibel sign out was 0.7. I've now to improve that to 0.61. Uh, squelch was ridiculous. It was too far too tight at uh, 2 millivolts. It's now 100 microvolts which is... S9 equivalent and it came in doing 2.7 watts, it's now 3.6 though it does say 4.1 on its self test. I did check the AM modulation. Roger, Roger got you at Ancaster service station. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner, over. Roger, Roger got you at Wheelsford Level Crossing. Okay, just got to you at, uh, was that Wilsford level crossing? Uh, no, it was uh, Kelby. Sorry, I just uh, had to put the elves of the squelch. <laughs> they got you at Grayley's turnover. Roger got you going over Rossby level crossing. That's the end of the test, thank you. Well, pretty abysmal receive. Go and test it to our base station, and I want to listen to it. This is our microphone, which came with our orig original sample, one of these we bought, 
and then we've got the customer's Cobra what high gear power microphone all I would think is that that's going to make the radio distorted uh, I don't don't think we're, that's gonna, that's not the answer for a set like this uh, right we'll do that